power on, fans on. Uh, charge current is on, charging the battery at 8 amps, 0.8 amps. Uh, VHF antenna, and I'm listening to. How's it going, YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a video on a, an idea that uh, somebody who watched one of my ham radio videos probably she's I want I want to say probably back in October uh, left a comment uh, basically challenging me to create a way to EMP proof or solar flare or any kind of a large magnetic pulse proof a ham radio setup and been thinking about that kind of on and off for the last couple months and uh, lately I've been kind of focusing on it uh, amongst other things you know I got the garden going on right now but um, yeah I got an idea now so basically what I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use my uh, Yesu uh, 857 uh, which is uh, both a HF and a uh, UHF uh, VHF radio um, so it'll cover all the spectrums of uh, amateur bands. Uh, it's just kind of a great all-around radio uh, to own if uh, you're thinking about becoming a ham. Uh, it's a great radio. You can use it as uh, both a base station and a uh, mobile. Uh, it's small enough to throw in the car and uh, it's powerful enough to use as a base station. Okay, so uh, did a little bit of design work here, uh, just kind of a rough draft of uh, what I'd like the top panel to look like. Uh, kind of tried to think about all the possibilities of uh, being out in the field with a ham radio and uh, getting power to it as well as cooling it. So um, we'll just kind of work this way. <coughs> Uh, here we have the two uh, plugs where you'd uh, attach either an HF or a UHF antenna. Uh, here there will be a, a series of uh, holes you know, covering that square. Uh, it squares roughly 3 by 3 inches. Uh, beneath that I'm going to mount a uh, typical 3 inch computer fan. Uh, the bonus of that will be a twofold. Uh, you'll be able to cool the radio, at least draw the air out of the uh, box, as well as these holes will uh, make it much easier to hear uh, the radio on the inside of the box. And then here we have the power uh, little LED that shows that it fan will be on, and then uh, I'm also going to throw a potentiometer in there, control the fan speed. Uh, I got the charge control device, which is right there, uh, just a typical solar charge controller. Uh, this the radio obviously uh, here I'm going to have just a uh, kind of a system power uh, switch with an LED there uh, 30 amp fuse block uh, my amps and my volts uh, that's going to be battery power amps is going to be actually what the radio is going to be drawing uh, and volts obviously is going to be the battery state the charge controller also shows uh, the current and volts, uh, but that's for the charge, not for the uh, the draw. So anyway, uh, anyway, I'm gonna have a couple of different inputs as well. I'm gonna have uh, just like your regular uh, two pole, uh, like wall wart type uh, DC uh, in, and that's gonna be basically going into the charge controller, uh, as well as a I cannot remember for the life of me what these connectors are called but they're like heavy duty uh, I want to call them James connectors or Jim connectors something like that uh, but they're like super heavy duty high uh, amperage uh, dual pole connectors uh, I'm going to be mounting one of those to the surface uh, that I will be plugging the solar panels into that and will also go to the uh, charge controller and then finally uh, I'm going to have a couple of poles just bare poles that uh, you'd be able to connect say uh, uh, like jumper cables not that heavy duty obviously but uh, you know, some decent size uh, you know say probably 12 gauge wiring too with some fat 
uh, clips on, or uh, I might actually have them uh, uh, wing nut set up. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, that'll be for some other 12 volt source. Uh, and then lastly, a uh, switch to go from either internal power or external power. Internal power are going to be a pair of those uh, motorcycle batteries I'm going to run in parallel. Uh, and external would be uh, these right here. So I can connect an additional car battery or something like that to the pile. Right on YouTube. So uh, basically sketched out a quick little uh, wiring diagram of uh, what I want to do here. I got the circuit for the fan, the radio, the internal or external power, uh, the lamps, the way you switch the entire thing on and off, the switch for uh, selecting between voltage inputs and the gauges and the charger controller and that circuit. So anyway, I made a quick little list of what I'm going to be buying here and I'm off uh, to my favorite store. Okay, I uh, went to uh, a couple of my favorite places to be and uh, went and picked up some electronic doodads here and there and uh, basically I think I'm going to uh, just use this thing for right now you know the uh, what came in the top of the toolbox I'll use this kind of as a experimental type thing and if it all works out then I'll make myself really nice uh, Kind of control panel, if you will, that sits up in here, uh, flush with the uh, top edge of this thing here. So anyway, uh, just going to get all this wired up now. Uh, I got two of these batteries here. Uh, and get those wired in parallel. Uh, so give me some good amperage, 12 volt, and uh, got an ammeter. And a voltmeter, and that'll kind of let me know where I'm at. And the uh, solar charger, um, and uh, she's gonna help me out. Appreciate it all. And uh, some fuses. Gotta have fuses, you know. So uh, let me get all this uh, wired together, and uh, we'll show you what we've done. Be back in uh, just a little bit. All right, so took uh, a few hours to get this all sorted out, but uh, yeah, it wasn't too tough. Uh, basically, what I've done is I got uh, two of these motorcycle batteries in this toolbox, right? And the radio will be going into the toolbox as well. And I have an extension kit uh, for the radio. So currently the radio is plugged in. I uh, have the two uh, antenna wires coming up to these two ports here. Uh, power is going into a panel. I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, not the prettiest wiring job in the world, but it uh, definitely works. Uh, everything's super heavy duty gauge, solder, and uh, whoopsie daisy. Uh, so basically this will switch between uh, something I haven't installed yet. Uh, that's going to be the solar side, which I'm going to use uh, this PC style plug and only use the outside terminals for it, positive and negative. That's going to go here. And then here I just have like a regular wall wart type uh, jack uh, I can plug that in my car, or in the wall, pretty much anything uh, with 12 volt source uh, will be working fine for me. Uh, this right now is a, pardon me, a switch that goes between the internal batteries and an external. Uh, so I can, and then the center position is off. And lastly, uh, the main power switch which uh, will do nothing because this isn't selected. So basically we're going to select internal batteries. 
and turn the system on. And uh, red light on, right? Uh, let me just see if I can get this thing up in the air a little ways. Otherwise, the fan sits on the. It's a fan inside here. And uh, there's a cooling fan. Let me turn that guy on. And something's blocking it. All right, there we go. So uh, that'll at least uh, pull some of the uh, nasty air out of the uh, hot air, that is, out of the unit. So anyway, that makes a little bit of noise. and turn it down a little bit. Um, yeah. So, but, uh, bolts, amps, and radio. <laughs> it works. Mm. That's it for uh, the airport. This is the approach. And uh, basically this antenna is actually going out over to right here on my toolbox. <laughs> so this thing's working. All the circuits are dialed in. Everything's good. I just need to uh, get all this stuff mounted pretty uh, in the box. And I can call it complete. And I forgot to uh, show you the charge part. Um, it is indeed charging. Uh, not sure how to have it show. Okay, so it's charging at uh, 0.7 amps. Uh, I'm showing the batteries are almost full all the way. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I have it plugged into uh, a uh, cable that goes up to a wall wart right here. I'm just plugging in, charging up the batteries. Yeah, <laughs> I love when stuff comes together and works. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that uh, it also does the uh, charging. I can charge it either from a wall wart here or plug that line into like a cigarette lighter in a car. Or uh, when I have my solar set up, you know. Uh, I'll be able to charge this thing off panels too. So it's literally the go anywhere uh, ham radio kit. All right, uh, I thought I'd actually show you the bottom of this thing. Uh, also noticed when I uh, had everything disconnected, the uh, batteries were still powering the controller, uh, the solar controller or charge controller, I guess. And I didn't really want that. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I've added another switch here. Uh, let me flip this over. You can see what's going on here. Uh, so basically I'm adding this another switch here. This is basically going to disconnect the charge controller from the battery. Uh, obviously it does need to be connected, but, uh, but when I turn this thing off and kind of put it to bed, I don't want it uh, draining the battery just by the uh, charge controller telling me uh, how many volts are uh, present on the battery. So I'm going to add this thing, this switch here. So basically what uh, what we have is pure messy. <laughs> uh, but I thought I'd uh, show you basically these are the uh, terminals that are going to the batteries. Uh, then goes off into one into the charge controller and then this mess right here is kind of like the common ground uh, this goes to a voltmeter uh, and this comes over here to this uh, potentiometer to control the fan speed um, and then the uh, cathode for the LED goes there anode goes to the uh, signal out and you know at the uh, positive for the battery on charge uh, these two lines are what feed the charge controller those guys come over to here to this switch uh, which is uh, 
dual pull, dual throw. Uh, so I can select between uh, what is charging. Currently I just have the DC one connected, but like I said, I was going to add, where is it? Uh, this guy over here. You know, uh, so those get, this guy will be connected to those two poles. And uh, I think that'll be it. Once I get this, uh, this uh, wired up, which is super simple, I'm just going to uh, literally cut uh, this line right here. And it's not a real high amperage circuit, so I'm not really worried about this switch. So I'm just going to cut the line and solder it on that two sides of the switches. Or bleh, solder it onto the two sides of this switch. And uh, I think we're going to be good to go. I can just uh, basically wire it up. Positives, negatives to the battery. I'll plug uh, this into my radio. And then all I have to do really is... Uh, connect the two antenna leads, which are here, uh, that come out of the radio. I'm going to connect those to those two pots. And uh, the only other thing I'm having difficulty with, really, is how to mount the radio. I'd like to do it at like a 45 degree angle. Uh, here. Right in this area here. Uh, but I'm just having a difficult time trying to figure out how to secure it there. Um, I mean, it'd be really easy if I just did it flat. Uh, that's kind of boring. Um, and unless you're standing directly over the box, you know, like this, it's kind of hard to see everything. So I'd like to get it at an angle, you know, about like that. Uh, but I will cross that road when I get there. Uh, I'm not really sweating it right now. It totally works and it's cool. So I'm down with that. Okay. So here is the finished product. And this handy dandy cool little uh, case. Uh, during uh, transportation, obviously, I wouldn't have the antenna wire just hanging out there, and uh, the charging wire wouldn't be hanging there either. But uh, basically, uh, it's on. Power on. Fans on. Uh, charge current is on charging the battery at 8 amps, 0.8 amps, uh, that VHF antenna, and I'm listening to... Take care.